Yo, what is good YouTube? Saint Sibs back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about these. The Adidas Rap Stimulant Oigo 2s in marine black. This is my latest pickup and this is going to be a quick review on them as well. So let's get straight into it. So, at the front of the shoe box, here is the Raft Sim and Adidas logo as presented. And then, yeah, all you pretty much get is some spare laces. Here's the laces. That's pretty much all you get. No dust bag or anything, which I thought you might have got. But then, at the same time, I've got to consider that it is an Adidas Raft Sim and collaboration. Whereas, if I actually did buy Raft Sim and shoes, I would expect a dust bag. But yeah, I guess they can get away with it as it is a collaboration. And technically, it's still an Adidas shoe. Here's some pictures just to show you the small details that are involved in this shoe. Honestly, the small details really matter and the different types of materials they use. They mix it about, they use mesh, they use synthetic materials and they also use leather on the side panels. I think the little details are so cool. As well, I love how they've added them little plastic panel things. I love when I'm walking and the sun hits them, it just looks really cool how it reflects. I picked this colour specifically because while it's just a bit different, I love the different colour contrasts and I personally I think it'd be really easy to wear compared to the other ones. I mean I could just throw these on with some black denim and yeah I could just rock it like that depending on what type of top I wore. Raf Simon on the top of the shoe, again not too loud, it's a small detail and it's for people that will know what you're wearing really because if you wear these people aren't going to know the Raf Simon are they, they're not going to know it's a Raf Simon Adidas collaboration. And then you can see the three stripes on the back, it's pretty subtle and yeah, it's not loud, it's not too branded and that's the way I like it to be honest. Then finally the green bottom, it's just a little pop, a lot of people ain't gonna see it so yeah, it's just a small minor detail again which I love because little details make a big difference. Similar to last year when I picked up the Combo Project Chelsea boots, I picked these up to get myself out of that comfort zone and I want something a bit different. I've seen a lot of people that are into street fashion wearing these. I'm into street fashion, but it's many of a hype beast kind. These are a bit more low key and they're very 50 50. People love them, but most people hate them. I mean, they are very different and they are a bit, well, while they're very different, that's all I can really say about them. So when you do wear these, you're going to have to put an outfit into mind and you're going to have to be very careful on how you wear them. I've seen quite a lot of people wear them, so I'm just going to throw a few fit picks up as well. So yeah, that's the only reason I wanted them. I wanted to try something a bit more different within my fashion category because I'm wearing lots of basic clothing right now, so I want stuff that pops. So these are perfect for that pop and I can't wait to put these on feet and show you right now. Honestly, if you like something, just purchase it because that's what fashion is all about. Wearing stuff that you like and making it look cool. So yeah, if you feel comfortable and you feel like you've got enough confidence, just buy it. But at the same time, don't buy something just because everyone else is buying it because it might not look right on you depending on body shape, how you actually wear it, your type of fashion. And if you're not willing to change your fashion around, that item is going to look very, very odd on you. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. Being a hype beast and jumping on things is pretty fun sometimes, but not all the time. Because sometimes you just purchase stuff that you can't pull off and then you feel ridiculous purchasing it in the first place. I've been there and I've done that and I've had to sell a few things because I've done that. So just be careful. Again, I say it, go to the size in these is my opinion because they fit quite snug and they fit quite nice. Also, if you're from America, these cost $420 or $440. Whereas in the UK, I managed to pick them up for £211. So if you're in America, just take my deals at St. Sibs. And I'll try and proxy you a pair, just PayPal me, and it works out a lot cheaper. Because honestly, $440 compared to £211 is crazy. Just to add, I normally say, oh, wait for the sales periods to purchase things. However, I feel these are going to sell out quite quickly. I don't feel these are going to be around for the sales period. So just be careful and purchase them because I don't want you to feel discouraged. And I don't want you to feel let down and not being able to purchase them and having to possibly pay resale prices. So yeah, here's the Omigo 2s and that was my thoughts on them and this is my latest pickup. I'm happy to add these to my collection 
And this is Saint Sibs. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, because a lot more videos are going to come out. I'm going to be doing a lot more high end pickups and a lot more high end shoe pickups, as well as I'm going to be talking about high street stuff and I do a weekly fashion talk as well. Uh, so, yeah, hope you have a nice day and hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out.